Welcome back. So now we made progress on the Markov decision uh, pr process setup in the last lecture. And we can proceed with the dynamic programming. Basically, in the last lecture, we saw an MDP can be modeled with a transition function, action based on policy, pi, this is one, and a reward mechanism so that agent can interact with the environment. Um, in dynamic programming, um, we often define two important types of functions, so-called V function, Q function. Uh, v uh, stands for value and Q sometimes refers to quality function. So value function and Q quality function, I'm just going to call it V and Q functions. Basically, V function only depends on states and it represents the maximum total reward that can be obtained from a given state following the best possible uh, policy. On the other hand, unlike V function, Q function depends on states and action, and it represents the total reward for taking action A in a particular state S, and then following the optimal policy afterward. Um, these two functions are popular for uh, different purposes we're going to discuss, and there is an expression called as the Bellman equation that provides a recursive relationship that allows for the calculation of value functions either by iteration or by learning from samples. Basically, we first we are first going to cover in the next class how we do this by iteration. It is called within the context of dynamic programming. And when we um, use reinforcement learning, we are going to learn from the samples. So to make the long story short, Bellman equation is essential for finding an optimal policy. So let's see the Bellman equation. So Bellman equation differs for V functions and Q functions. Within the context of V functions, this is the Bellman equation. Um, max, max of actions and uh, inside the brackets, immediate reward. This is the discount factor. We discussed this in the uh, previous videos. Uh, gamma close to one represents long-term more stable learning. Gamma small um, quick uh, learning, just focusing on the immediate rewards. And this is the value function at the next state. And remember, the next state is just, uh, it is transition model T S N A. So I can write it as V T S and A, this part. Um, let's discuss what this does. So suppose you have two possible actions, um, A1, A2, and A3, and for each action, this inside, this function gives you a different value, as for example, let's say for action A1, 3, action A2, 5, and action A3, 4. Then max A is nothing but it selects 5 since the value is the 5 is the highest value as compared to 3 and 4. That's all I am going to say about the Bellman equation for V functions. So let's look at the Bellman equation for Q functions. So here, here is a Q uh, function. It depends on immediate reward. It also has the discount factor and it basically maximize the next value of a prime and uh, of this q depends on s prime here and a prime which a prime is pi s prime and basically pi prime you can write it like this so the bellman equation for both functions is recursive since v depends on s prime and q depends on s prime and a prime so I would like to say a few words about uh, V and Q functions. So basically, um, based on my experience, so with V functions, especially when it comes to learning, it can be less efficient in environments with large action spaces. Think about a robot uh, that can go up, down, left, right, or maybe 45 degrees, you can put you know eight different actions or if you would like to do the actions more smooth, you can consider 16, 32 actions. Um, learning with Q functions, 
are more efficient in general, especially in high dimensional action, spa action spaces. Um, this is because um, Q functions depend on both SNA and gives the value of taking a specific action in that state. However, V function only gives the value of being in a state. So, um, basically, it is V function, I will say, is better for problems where state representation is more relevant than specific actions, more relevant than specific actions. And I can say Q function is uh, preferred in dynamic programming and later in reinforcement learning in scenarios with a with an large action space, such as in games, robotics, uh, motion planning, decision making. So um, from now on, um, this these classes we focus on Q functions um, because. But I still wanted to show you how V functions look like since they are also popular. But for decision making. Um, we are going to proceed with Q functions from now on. All right, so this is the one more time Bellman equation for Q function. So I would like to discuss a few words about the optimal policy and then end this lecture. Basically, by using Q functions, the agent can learn which actions yield the best long-term rewards and then extract the optimal policy by selecting the action with the highest value for each state. Mathematically speaking, um, what we mean by selecting the action with the highest value, which basically, this is the mathematical expression of what I just said. So arc max a, uh, q s a, this is the optimal policy. So what, what this argument max, maximum uh, does, I will explain um, in case you don't know it. At, let's say at state SM, suppose there are three actions, again, A1, A2, and A3. And let's say on that state, uh, value of A1 is 3, value of A2 is 10, and value of SM with A3 is 1. Then argument max A selects action A2 because this action A2 is the one that causes highest uh, reward. So it is slightly different than max. Argument max chooses the action. Max chooses the highest value. All right. Um, as this being said, uh, last lecture and this lecture, we covered all the important material so that we are now ready to proceed first with Q function iteration within the context of dynamic programming. And then, remember, dynamic programming, we assume the you know, uh, model is known so that we can do these calculations, right? S prime is this, so you need this, you need that. Um, then, after we learn Q function iteration in the next class, we will then proceed with Q learning, which is a popular of policy reinforcement learning method. All right, take care.